Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So just like in past weeks, I am using what we have in our freezer, um, fridge and pantry. I'm trying not to go to the grocery store, just using what I have. So tonight for dinner, we are having this artisan crafted bacon cheddar macaroni and cheese that I picked up from Walmart. And this was in our pantry, I've had it for a while. And then we are also having some canned green beans and we're just using the Winco brand. And then in our freezer, we have a uh, bunch of wings. And so I just baked them and then I poured the juice off of them, and then I, actually, I seasoned them and baked them, then I poured all the juice off of them, and then I put them in a bowl, and I tossed them in this Korean barbecue seasoning, and this wing sauce that I picked up from Aldi a while ago, and that's been in our pantry as well. And then I put them in the broiler, and here they are. Here are our wings. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having wonton soup and we are using these dumplings. We really like them. They are from Costco. They are beef bulgogi um, dumplings. And um, I really don't have a recipe for this soup. I just added in this 32 ounce container of chicken broth stock, excuse me, that I picked up from, I think I got it from Aldi. So we're using that. And then I had some jarred mushrooms. So I used that. And then I just added in um, soy sauce, some um, Asian chili sauce, uh, sesame oil, and just some other seasonings. And uh, this is it. Quick and simple dinner using stuff that we had on hand. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another meal from our pantry. I had this um, in my pantry. It is Street Kitchen Asian Scratch Kit. Red Thai curry, three simple steps. All you do is add chicken and vegetables to it. And, um, and I'm just serving it over some jasmine rice. And then we are also having some pork egg rolls. And I got these from Tom Thumb a while ago and they were in my freezer, we needed to use it. So I just baked them in the oven and here they are. Um, and I forgot to mention that I got this from Walmart a while back ago. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled cheeseburgers. Howard grilled out for us today. So this is my plate and he toasted my bun on the grill and I just added some bacon to it. I'm not really into um, like condiments on my burger, like ketchup and mayo and mustard and all that stuff. So mine is just a plain burger. And then I um, baked some french fries in the oven for us. And the french fries that I used are these Orida fries and uh, they were in our freezer, so using those. This is Howard's plate and he has the same kind of burger that I do, but he added tomatoes on top. He doesn't like his bun toasted. I actually had to go to Kroger yesterday to pick up a few things and I was gonna film it, but it really wasn't enough to film. And so here's his plate. And then he always adds ketchup onto everything. So I'm sure he'll be adding this on. Um, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I decided to make us big um, like fried chicken salads. And so for the chicken, we are using these chicken bites from Sam's. I've mentioned that we've had these before, but we're not crazy about them at all. And so we've been eating them by having them with salad. So that's what we're having tonight. On the salads, I have some boiled eggs, some cheddar cheese, and then of course the fried chicken. So I baked it and then I just chopped it up. And then um, Howard is gonna have this Hidden Valley Bacon Ranch. And then I'm gonna have the Caesar salad. Um, in my freezer, I had some whipped topping from Winco. And in my pantry, I had this um, key lime cheesecake no-bake mix. And um, it calls for a brick of uh, cream cheese. And so I decided to make um, a little dessert for us. So. This is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.